It's a beautiful morning and I am in zone 6B. It's June 6th and it's about 61 degrees. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be a warm day today. It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day as well. Not a cloud in the sky right now. So I just want to walk through my container garden and show you what's growing. This should give you some ideas of what you can also grow in a container garden. But most of all of these are herbs that I use for cooking. Okay, so um, I will include a link to a video that I did last year on starting a container garden and those are just give you some basic tips on selecting um, a container and sun direction and things like that and then last uh, month I also did another video on just some tips on container gardening once you start getting it started now this is just going to be where I walk through and talk about my plants very briefly and mostly it's just to show you and give you an idea of some different things that you can grow okay so over here to the left it has some new herbs for me this year this is called a Cuban oregano look at that I'm so thrilled about finding that and um, I'm going to use it I think to make some meat for sandwiches I want to I'm thinking pork okay and then right here is some basil really pretty um, little spicy globe basil I think it's called and it has the little tiny leaves really pretty lemon mint marigold pretty little yellow flowers there and then lemongrass I'll include a link to where you can also start lemongrass and grow that uh, this is Greek oregano I have a lot of it growing in my garden and um, so this is just starting to come back for me here this is uh, I think the third year in this little container here and that right there is a weed <laughs> but along the side you see that the leaves are starting to pop out for the Greek oregano and so this is something I want to point out to you a lot of new gardeners when they start a container garden they'll take one container and they'll put a lot of herbs in one container because they have similar growing conditions but that might that's fine if it's a new um, herb and maybe you just want to put it somewhere so it has a temporary home but keep in mind that um, herb is going to grow and if it's a perennial it's going to come back year after year it really needs to have its own dedicated container so that you can um, take care of it accordingly you may need to bring it inside and indoors for it to overwinter and you want it to be big so that you can start using it for cooking it's fine I don't, most of these that I bought this year for instance this right here this is called a Greek myrtle we have a curry a new plant for me and I have some um, bay leaves down there. I'm not going to use the, these this year. Okay, I'm going to use them most likely next year. I'll have to take care of them this year and move them inside my house. But when they become, and I'll probably cut them back a little bit. But I really like to start using my herbs that are perennial the second year. Okay, because their growth is much better and there's a lot more that you can use. <laughs> now annuals are something completely different like your basil, cilantro green onions those kind of things like that you just can grow them from seed and a lot of times I'll mix those up in a container if they have similar growing conditions but um, right here is a basil and I grew that from seed it's really pretty this is just an Italian basil I have a kefir lime tree here and I grew this from seed this is the third year's growth and it's doing really well looks really pretty this is these are nasturtiums I have two of these in the pot they're two different kinds. This is called an Alaska, um, Alaskan mix, I believe. And you'll see the little leaves are variegated. Really pretty. And, um, you know, the leaves of a nasturtium plant have a, kind of a peppery taste like a watercress. Okay, and they put out just beautiful little edible flowers. So, and then the back, I have a climbing variety of nasturtium. And if you have a trellis, you can grow a climbing variety up your little trellis, maybe if you live in a small space. This one I'm going to let it fall over my deck. Okay, so it'll just kind of topple over there. For me, I found the best way to start nasturtiums uh, is by seed, and you can put them in a paper towel and get them sprouted that way because they have a it's a pretty tough little seed, and I like to make sure that it's sprouted before I put it in the soil. Use the little paper towel method you learned in elementary school to get that started. <laughs> Hopefully, you learned that in elementary school. It's one of the few things I remember. <laughs> okay and rosemary I grow that every year in this zone and for some reason it does not overwinter well for me I grew it in Florida that was in zone 8b when I lived there and it grew year-round and it was beautiful there so anyway that's my rosemary there okay I just sowed some more seed for basil yesterday 
and so I hope that'll be popping up here soon. Basil usually will pop up in my from my experience in about three to four days. It germinates pretty fast when the conditions are warm and moist. So I'm going to keep that watered and it has been pretty warm for us so I, don't, I expect those will be up soon. Here is some Red Freddy basil. Just beautiful little purple basil and then I have Thai basil here in the back and I have just been cutting and cutting and cutting this which really is good for your basil if you cut it. It'll stimulate that growth and get it bushing out. And so I've been making some wonderful Thai basil rolls with this. I've been loving that. So this is my French tarragon and this is the third year growth for it. It's doing really well and I need to go ahead and cut this too. I'll dry it and I'll have a lot to use this winter. This is another good example of why you would want to have uh, one dedicated container for your perennial herbs like French tarragon. French tarragon, you need to start that from a cutting. There are other varieties of tarragon on the market such as Mexican tarragon and Russian tarragon. The French tarragon has the flavor that you're looking for. Okay, lemongrass here. There it is, another one. I'm going to move this out to one of my other gardens because you notice I have two containers of it. I also have some growing in the ground. And there's a little kaffir lime tree right there. It's doing pretty well. I expect that that growth will take off here very soon. And over here I have a kaffir lime tree. Doing pretty well. Yeah, I just sowed some more seed for cilantro and green onions. Cilantro is something you have to continue to sow the seed about every two weeks through your growing season. But if you like cilantro, you love it. And if you don't like it, you're not interested in growing it at all. But a lot of times people will buy it at the nursery and they bring it home and then Two weeks later it's already producing little flowers and then it's going to die on you you know and that's no fun grow cilantro from seed and sow it every two weeks okay there is some thyme right here lime thyme this is the second year growth for it looking pretty good this is galangal the thai ginger growing that in a container but i also moved some into my garden this year another little mix of basil with some green onion as well Thai basil and the red freddy or you can also get like a I think it's called red reuben is another pretty purple basil that you can get this is apple mint looking nice and healthy I had to put this in a little bin and keep the water in there because that mint requires so much water and that's I think the third year growth for that as well okay you see why I'm talking about these perennial herbs how about we just keep coming back and they get healthier every year and then right next to the mint, I have two containers of flat leaf Italian parsley. I've been using a lot of this, but it's been growing so well. Um, one thing, though, it is about to bolt on me, which means it's going to seed. You'll see the leaves are getting smaller right there. And that stem right there is getting pretty thick. That means it's going to seed, which is signaling kind of the end of the life for that plant. So my Italian parsley doesn't grow very long for me, at least in my climate. So I sow new seeds for Italian parsley once a month in the growing season. And then I cut back a lot of purple sage yesterday and dried it. That doesn't look like much right now. This is the second year for it. Uh, it'll be fine. Um, your herbs usually love to be cut, cut on, okay? These are chives. I cut those back too. And that's the third year growth for that chive plant. This is cilantro. I was talking about how it bolts. Here I have some that's bolted. I have a lot in my garden that I've been using. And you notice the one is bolting and the one next to it is not bolting. So I sowed those seeds about two weeks apart. And so there's some cilantro for you. Okay. I have a lot more cilantro growing down in my other garden. It's everywhere down there. But I'll show you all that in another video, okay? I hope this helps you along in your herb container garden. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.